subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Welcome to another video on your channel Profit and Equities. In this video, we'll be talking about six top picks from Ace Investor Mohanish Pabrai's India portfolio for the year 2020. Now friends, if you like the content that we produce on our channel, please don't forget to like this video, share these videos and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please click on the red subscribe button. This will help you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Also friends, please go ahead and join our free telegram group, the link for which is present in the pinned comment and also in the description of the video. The group serves as a forum for exchanging ideas, information and also getting your queries answered. Please watch this video to know more about these stocks. Now the first company on the list is Colte Patel Developers Limited which is available at Rs 229.90 and the face value for it is 10. The holding for Mohanish Pabrai in this particular company stands at 7.16%. The symbol for it is K-O-L-T-E-P-A-T-I-L. -E now Colte Patel Developers Limited engages in the development of real estate property. Its projects include residential and townships, office buildings and shopping centers. The company was founded by Milin Digambar Kolte, Naresh Aniruddha Patil and Rajesh Aniruddha Patil on November 25, 1991 and is headquartered in Pune, India. Now looking at the one year chart, this company has not really created any major wealth for its shareholders and has generally been choppy throughout the entire year. The company is a small cap with a market capitalization of 1742.98 crores. The EPS of 17.02 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 13.51 which is much more cheaper when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 23.65. The price to book ratio stands at a figure of 2.06. The company has a debt to equity of 0.5209 whereas the return on equity for this company is 0.1487. Now dividend yield for this company stands at 1.04% whereas the promoter holding is a very strong number and stands at 74.63%. None of the promoter's holding is blessed. Now the second company on the list is Kaveri Seeds Company Limited which is available at Rs 466.65 and the face value for it is 2. The holding for Mohanish Pabrai in this particular company stands at 8.61%. The symbol for it is KSCL. Now Kaveri Seeds Company Limited engages in the production, processing and distribution of seeds. Its products include field crops and vegetables. Now this company has also not created any major wealth for its shareholders and is closing the year at almost the same levels that it started it. The market cap of the company is 2815.26 crores which means that this company is also a small cap one. The EPS of 39.84 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 11.71 which is much more cheaper when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 19.48. The price to book ratio stands at a figure of 2.80. The debt to equity stands at a figure of 0.0031 which is good whereas the dividend yield stands at 0.64%. The promoter's holding is also an above average figure of 55.09% out of which nothing is blessed. Now the next company on the list is Indian Energy Exchange Limited which is available at Rs 189.85 and the face value for it is 1. The holding for Mohanish Pabrai in this particular company stands at 3.84%. The symbol for it is IEX. Now Indian Energy Exchange Limited engages in the power exchange business and provides an automated platform for trading of electricity and related products. It enables trading and price discovery of electricity and related products with risk management for participants of the electricity market. The company was founded on March 26, 2007 and is headquartered in New Delhi, India. Now looking at the one year chart, this company did nothing for the majority of the year but recently there was a huge spike. The company is a borderline stock between a mid cap and a small cap with a market capitalization of 5687.08 crores. The EPS of 5.63 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 33.72 which is slightly more expensive when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 28.72. The price to book ratio of 15.38 is also very expensive. Now the company is debt free and hence the debt to equity and total debt are zero. The return on equity for this company is a very strong number at 0.4977. The company also does not pay out any dividends. Now the next company on the list is Suntech Realty Limited which is available at Rs 392.55 and the face value for it is 1. The holding for Mohanish Pabrai in this particular company stands at 8.52%. The symbol for it is S-U-N-T-E-C-K. Now Suntech Realty Limited is a holding company which engages in the real estate development and incidental services business. 
It designs, develops and manages residential and commercial properties. The company was founded by Kamal Shri Gopal Khetan and Manisha Kamal Khetan on October 1, 1981 and is headquartered in Mumbai, India. Now looking at the one year chart, this company has been on a slow decline throughout the entire year. The company has a market capitalization of 5745.83 crores and hence is a borderline stock between a mid cap and a small cap. The EPS of 10.92 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 35.95 which is much more expensive when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 23.65. The price to book ratio of 1.96 is reasonable. The company has a debt to equity of 0.2072 and the return on equity stands at 0.0610 which is however a bit subdued. The company's dividend yield stands at 0.38% whereas the promoter holding is a very strong number at 67.16%. None of the promoter's holding is placed. Now the penultimate company on the list is Edelweiss Financial Services Limited which is available at Rs 88.55 and the face value for it is 1. The holding for Mohanish Pabrai in this particular company stands at 1.12%. The symbol for it is E-D-E-L-W-E-I-S-S. -S. Now Edelweiss Financial Services Limited engages in the provision of capital markets, asset management services, commodities, life insurance and treasury functions. It operates through the following segments which are agency business, capital based business and insurance business. The company was founded by Rashish Chandrakant Shah and Venkatachalam Arakani Damaswamy on November 21, 1995 and is headquartered in Mumbai, India. Now looking at the one year chart, this company has also been a wealth destroyer and has been on a consistent downtrend throughout the entire year. The company is a mid cap with a market capitalization of 8273.55 crores. The EPS of 6.87 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 12.89 which is much more cheaper when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 41.66. The price to book ratio of 0.95 is also reasonable. The debt to equity for this company is an alarming figure at 4.7471 whereas the return on equity is subdued at 0.0840. The dividend yield stands at a decent figure of 1.58% whereas the promoter holding is much lower than average at 32.91%. A total of 17% of the promoter's holding is also blessed. Now friends, this company was under the spotlight recently for its employees being called by the enforcement directorate and hence the sentiment here may be a bit low. Now the final stock on the list is Rain Industries Limited which is available at Rs 107.90 and the face value for it is 2. The symbol for it is RAIN. Now, Rain Industries Limited engages in the production of coal tar pitch and manufactures calcined petroleum coke. It operates through the following segments which are carbon, advanced materials and cement. The company was founded on March 15, 1974 and is headquartered in Hyderabad, India. Now, looking at the one year chart, this company has also not created any major wealth for its shareholders. The company is a small cap with a market capitalization of 3629.17 crores. The EPS of 4.09 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 26.38 which is much more cheaper when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 40.92. The price to book ratio of 0.76 is also very cheap. The company has a debt to equity of 1.4783 which causes a slight worry whereas the return on equity is a subdued figure at 0.0489. Rain's dividend yield stands at 0.93% whereas the promoter holding is a below average figure at 41.10%. Now the promoter's holding is placed. Now friends, please do join us on our free telegram group, the link for which is present in the description of the video and also in the pinned comment. The group serves as a forum for discussing stock market developments, clearing queries, etc. Also friends, if you like the content that we produce on our channel, please don't forget to like this video, share these videos and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please click on the red subscribe button. This will help you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Please don't treat the stocks mentioned here as a recommendation on our part. This and all other content that you see on our channel is intended only to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so.